Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie M. And today I'm going to work on the painting I'm still continuing on for an event. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to your channel, I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, and if you can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that as well. <laughs> so this is the painting that I've been working on for my last couple of whipping chats. It's for the event called Jingle Drills 2024. I selected this painting to work for the event and I actually am kind of kind of impressed myself a little bit <laughs> that I've gone so much done when I started beginning of November and that's because whenever I'm able to work on this painting I'm working on it and it's the painting I've been taking during my lunch hour at work so that's why I have time working on it and same thing after work I have to stay a little bit in the office for a bit and I'm working on it as well so I think that's why I'm progressing a lot the end of the event <laughs> excuse me Sorry about that. My allergies have been kicking in because the temperature has been shifting, so it has not been fun. <laughs> so, as I was saying, this event ends December for a completion. Well, for the event, December 31st, which if you want to be put in for the grand prize at the end of the event, a completion of your project is required. So, I really, really want to enter for the grand, I can say grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> for the grand prize i want to make sure to finish it also it kind of pushes me a bit to actually finish my poor painting so that's i'm really excited about it so the, i've already finished all of this area so the area i'm going to work on today is this part here mostly because i wanted to work on the purple just to take a break of a lot of the pink that was a good part of this section i decided let me work up here and let's change the work on a different color just so you know just so I can see something different. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I, I do that every now and then whenever I'm doing paintings. Especially when there's a lot of color blocking. I'm going to make sure to sorry, to jump around to different colors. So I can kind of stay a little bit more. I don't want to say tentative. But I find it fun. So that's why I like painting that way. So let me. Oops. Sorry about the long intro. <laughs> so let me zoom in. And we can start. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I hope I'm, I believe it is on camera because I have such a habit of pulling the painting to myself that I've recorded before one of my whipping chats before I did a good, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes until I paused it real quick. So I was going to do something else. And when I came back, kind of saw the little preview of it. I noticed, ooh, I wasn't even on camera <laughs> or the section I was working on wasn't on camera. And yeah, I kind of kicked myself a bit and that's why I always, I'm always just look glancing real quick at the camera, making sure that I, you know, the section I'm working on isn't shot. Because I don't want to do that again. <laughs> so I'm working on this dark purple, which is 3037 and it's this lovely part on top, which you can see in a lot of the other area I showed before that was completed. I don't know, I really like this dark violet color. And the little pen I'm using is, I decided to go back to my kind of thinner pen. I do like my other pen I showed, my last whipping chat, of uh, that really nice lava pen that has the liquid in it. That, you know, kind of caused the little effect of all the glitter and ornaments in the pen to move around. But it's a little larger than I'm used to. And sometimes, especially when I'm recording, where I'm just painting... I think the majority of us probably do it. I'll start painting for a couple hours and I forget. <laughs> so it started kind of hurting my hand a bit. So that's why I decided to go back to this nice. This is my favorite pen. And as you can see, it has two tones on it. This nice teal and it's kind of clear with glitter. And they're little kind of maple leaves as you can see this golden color. That's a big fan of this pen. And it's real sturdy and thin and I like it. It kind of feels like a writing pen because i can't say it feels like a pen because it's a pen right <laughs> so that's why i said writing pen it sounds kind of funny but um y'all get me we're all we're all 
I'm assuming probably the majority of us were all diamond painters here, so you kind of get me. And yeah, sorry about that. That was kind of random there. And I'm making sure that the purple lined up because I saw that I put this part a little crooked. My seat's a little higher than usual. I found out that it's actually a little bit better for my for my back if I don't have my seat so low. So that's a little higher than usual. To me, I kind of think I might be a little too high. Maybe. <laughs> With this fixing this diamond. Oh, it is really stuck on there. As I said, these canvases, the stick is never, never having a problem with it. It's sticky. That's all I got. <laughs> so, for myself, I don't really have much. You know, work is work. And all of that. I have been having a lot more, yes, it's going to sound weird, a lot more fun in my job. Because there's a little bit, it's a, it's a bit, the dynamic's a little bit different than one of the jobs I had before. It's a little bit more, there's a lot of trust in, you know, in you as a worker that, okay, we're going to sign you something that it's trusted that you're going to follow through. Which I really do appreciate that because I've had a lot of jobs that they super micromanage you. And for me, that is such a stressful way to work. And it actually kind of slows down the process a bit because you know nobody wants to kind of work in that kind of situation because you're always going to be second guessing yourself when you're doing your work excuse me <clears throat> Ooh, i say excuse me before i did that <laughs> that was kind of funny you know second guessing yourself while you're working and hoping you know whatever you're working on whatever project follows through and it's approved on whatever was required of you so that's why I kind of like the dynamic in this new job that I'm trusted upon. And I am such a follow through, like, a follow through, sorry. Ooh, apologies. Sorry about that. I had to really sneeze. Oh my goodness, what is going on today? My allergies are just real, real bad. So I'm sorry if I'm not muting because I'm sneezing. I'm muting because of planes. I'm, mu <laughs> I'm muting because of cars. Oh my goodness, the, the sound around here is just <laughs> causes me. I'd have to mute a lot. So apologies, if, especially if you're new to my channel and new to my, especially my whipping chats. I do mute a lot when there's a, I'm in the pathway of planes landing. So some of the pain, pain, sorry, planes get really, really loud and I decide to mute because I've heard what it, I've, when I first started recording in my new location, I caught it and I noticed, oh my goodness, the microphone picks it up really loudly. So that's why I mute now because I know what it sounds like on the other side. So, so it's a little annoying, but I'd rather have that than, you know, I wouldn't want to make anyone kind of, you know, kind of hurt your ears a bit. As myself, I do watch YouTube videos or channels with headphones. So I know that, you know, there might be some of y'all that do that as well. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And so you hear this really, really loud rumbling of these planes. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want your hearing. Apologies, that was such a segue. <laughs> I just wanted to let y'all know why I muted that time. So yeah, so I'm really enjoying my job. I like it. I like it and I love that I'm able to use, you know, I don't want to say expertise because I don't know. I think that's <laughs> I sound a, a a little too full of myself if I word it that way. But you know, skills that I have learned from the past it sounds a little dramatic, but it is accurate. <laughs> and I can you know use it in this job that I'm working on. So that's I'm a big big fan of that. And so far, no issues with it. So I'm enjoying my job so far. And I know that sounds, oh my goodness, is she really liking her job? Yeah, I, as I've said before, I love to work. So, it sounds cheesy. It sounds like, oh no, she's just saying it. No, I really am that. <laughs> I really am that way. I'm such a workaholic. And, I don't know. I think it's because for myself and I guess the way my personality is, I find good in anything that we have to, you know. We have to earn a 
earn a living. We have to work and we have to do what we got to do, you know? Pay the bills and all that fun stuff. Pay for the craft as well. I'm not lying. <laughs> so, to me, it's, you know, do what you got to do. Keep on trucking. Don't let it slow you down. That sounds like it should be a song. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me. Oh, uh -huh. as some of y'all probably noticed, my nails. So, back in the day, when I started this channel, a lot of my nails were... These are press-on. These aren't my real nails. So, I love this company that I originally found these nails at. So, I actually stopped using them because I, I would leave these nails on probably around two weeks. And my nails actually started growing healthier and they started growing longer. So, that's why I started painting my own nails using my little... If it's not press on nails, it's press on polish. <laughs> and I really liked how it was coming out. Well, recently I had to move a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of boxes, and I broke all of my nails that I had to trim them really, really short. And I don't like how my nails look short when I put polish on them. I don't know why. To me, they look kind of off. They look a little funny. So that's why I went through all of my boxes of when I moved oh my goodness that's so crooked <laughs> and I found these wonderful I found the little box containing all my little press on nails that they decided to make a comeback <laughs> so I picked red for probably this week I don't know if I'll change it next week mostly because we're about to hit oh my goodness we're already at the end of November y'all so we're getting close to gonna start December so I decided red fitting color for December and I thought I was real, real excited. I found these because I do have several, several different colors. And when I was going through them, I was trying to figure out what color. And this lovely red popped out. I really do love these. They're some of my favorites. So I put these on now. And they reminded me, oh my goodness, these are so much easier than putting the polish on. <laughs> the only, not issue or problem I have with the press on is because I wash my hands a lot. And the glue doesn't really, it doesn't like getting wet that much so it loosens the grip and I've lost some of my nails before and I I the box does contain several sizes but you know once you find your size that you know ooh that's the one for my nail you kind of don't want to wear a different size that might be a little bigger because then you can tell um for myself since my fingers are a little bit small you can kind of tell that oh that is way too big for her finger so that's I I don't like the being real careful with them whenever I'm washing my hands because I don't want to lose the nail because I don't want to go up a size because to me you can totally see that that's not, that's not the right size for a finger so that's why I've been that's why I kind of stopped and I really liked how the polish looked but unfortunately my nails broke and I'd rather you know rather have nice nails for y'all than my nails kind of not matching at all whole bunch of different sizes and it wouldn't make sense of course that's just me though of course and since i do review my videos so i spotted too like oh my goodness my nails are bad so <laughs> as i decided to fix them so i decided to put press-ons this time because i really like how they look when i record <clears throat> excuse me so okay now that's all i have for myself <laughs> i just wanted to mention the nails in case y'all spot them and See, oh my goodness, you brought the nails back. <laughs> Which I kind of, I, as that's what I'm assuming. And I actually like the idea that someone spots that. I spot little details like that, especially in other channels I watch. I'll notice, oh, look, they brought that back. Oh, oh they changed that. I don't know. My, the way my, I view things, I kind of spot little details. The majority of my jobs, I have to do that. So I think that's why my vision does that as well. Why do I feel like I added an extra diamond? What is with me today? I cannot paint today. Hold on, let me just fix that. Cause I, I, uh, yeah, I added an extra one. I don't know how, how did I do that. Huh. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's all I have for myself. So with diamond painting, our oh, lovely, lovely diamond painting. Oh my goodness, I have never done Black Friday diamond painting. Oh my goodness, that was so scary. <laughs> when I 
Well, it wasn't scary. It was just, oh my goodness, it's just crazy. I saw, you know, after it was Thanksgiving's done and, you know, we're all relaxing at home. That's when the emails start coming in. That's when the text messages coming in. If they could, the phone calls would start coming in. <laughs> and app notifications as well were coming in. Black Friday diamond painting deals. And yeah, I I totally got re I got so excited because I've never done this as some of y'all may know or may not know. This is my first year diamond painting. So I've never done Black Friday diamond painting. Or Black Friday sales diamond painting. And oh my goodness, it's just majority the majority of my paintings are from two companies from Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs. So a lot of my notifications came from them. And oh my goodness, Dreamer Des Diamond Art Club, their sale was just crazy. And it was, yeah, there were so, so many painters that were hoping that, you know, they can sneak in and get the painting they wanted and sneak out not having to, you know, worry about having to buy. Hey, you know what? Since it's a deal, let's buy, you know, 20 other paintings. <laughs> and I think that's true for any sales. I think not just for Black Friday, but I think it's true for any sales. And it was interesting because I'm in the group as well. And it's just everyone getting prepared, getting ready. And it reminded me of back in the day when I had to go to, let's say, a physical store for a Black Friday sale. And you'd see everyone lining up the doors and just getting ready to rumble. And everyone just to check what they're going to do. It totally made me think of that. But of course, this is online. so And it's a website. But with every, all the prep work everyone was doing, I'm going to fix this later because I really, really threw off that line. And I kind of don't want to keep messing with it. I'll fix it off screen. And yeah, so I, you know, was all excited about the hype of everyone. Ooh, we're going to get ready. We're going to, you know, go in and find the paintings you want. And Diamond Art Club did it, did it kind of smartly. They were releasing the last couple days previews of new releases that were going to come out for black friday which i kind of didn't understand how it worked because i thought it, they would just release okay this is the black friday discount code everything we have on the site that's what you can use it on go for it that's what i thought it was because usually black friday sales are like that no they also introduced around 100 new releases for black friday specifically and yeah, they were showing previews of it every day, both on Facebook and on Instagram, which is really, really smart. And I'm thinking as a business person, because my degree is in business. So I thought of kind of, oh, that is a smart way to kind of, you know, put the word out and, you know, get people hyped up of, oh my goodness, did you see that painting on, let's say, Facebook? No, but I saw the one on Instagram. See how it kind of starts the hype up a bit? I thought that was a really, really smart marketing strategy. So I was interested to see how it ends. Because, you know, they're previewing all of these during the week. I was curious, okay, so how's I going to work on the actual, you know, Black Friday day? <laughs> or actual start of the sale. And yeah, it's pretty much day kind of, which I... To me, it makes sense that, you know, if you're highest tier with them, which is diamond, which of course I am because <laughs> learn my lesson purchasing all of the diamond art club paintings I did a couple months ago, you would get really early access the night before. So I thought that was smart, you know, like, hey, you, you, you've, what's the wording I'm looking for? You've been... A really favorite customer of ours, and you're diamond level now. You're gonna get ahead. Makes sense. And I was like, hmm, that's kind of neat. So I went in. Doors are open. <laughs> like I said, I think of it physically. And yeah, it's just whatever. If you have it in your cart, you have it in your cart, and pay fast, lightning fast, and you know it's yours. If not, ooh, it's gone. Which I thought was interesting. I didn't have a painting disappear in my cart. But some people had stated they did. I've never seen that. And I always assume that usually a lot of websites do that. That if you have it in the cart, you have it reserved for so many minutes. And if unfortunately you don't move forward on paying or buying the item, it gets released back to 
you know, whoever decides to purchase next. That's what I assumed it did. So that's what surprised me when I started reading people saying, oh, it might disappear out of the cart. It's because I assumed, you know, they did that as well. I guess not. <laughs> so now I know next time there's a painting I really, really want and I have a feeling it's going to be a favorite. I got a ninja click on that about <laughs> if I want to buy it. So lesson learned. And again, I thought it would be equivalent of, you know, when you're running in the store and grabbing what you want to get, be quick because someone's going to steal it from the other side. <laughs> again, physical, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a store. So, but yeah, I was, I was not going to go crazy with it because honestly, some of their new releases, I wasn't a fan of them. To each their own. We all have different tastes. But there were a couple I liked, but I had decided I was just going to pick up two because, oh my goodness, this is real, real dangerous. That you could spend a good amount, a good amount of change with that sale. So, I only got two, and I'm happy with them. And since thankfully I live in Texas, they already got shipped out. So, whoop whoop. Stay tuned for an unboxing for those. <laughs> They're so cute. The two that I picked. So I really, well, one of them is real cute. The other one is just really, really classy looking. Like I said, stay tuned. I, I'm gonna unbox those when I receive them because I rarely get new release canvases. A lot of my Diamond Art Club canvases I've unboxed to y'all are canvases I've already had for a while. So, But these are new releases. So I'm a little excited to show these to y'all. If Maybe if they're still around, we are interested in purchasing some. So stay tuned for those videos. So Dreamer Designs was the other sale that I kept getting notifications on. And I unfortunately didn't have a chance to sit down and decide specifically what I wanted to purchase because their discounts were interesting. They had one discount if you're buying paintings that are here in the US and a different discount if code, sorry, if you're purchasing items from their overseas collection. Which is interesting because a lot of the paintings I really like from Dreamer Designs are from their overseas collection. They're more medium sized and I've been trying to purchase little smaller paintings because Oh my goodness, I have a lot, a lot of around, I don't know, 80, 70 centimeter paintings. Like really, really big ones. So I've been wanting to look at smaller ones or medium sized ones even. Just so I can have them in my stash and if I ever want to, you know what, I feel like painting this real quick. That's why I picked it up, you know, I purchased that size because I know it can be kind of a quick project I can work on. If not for an event, just, you know, because I want to work on it. Oops, I kind of, <laughs> I made that diamond fly a bit, but which works out because it goes on the same color. Woo. Ooh, apologies for that if you hear a car. Really loud, loud motorcycle. <laughs> You're kind of racing a bit. I'm close to a street, so you can kind of hear that. So, yeah, I did, I should have planned it a little bit better on what I wanted, you know, I knew I was going to pick one company or the other. So, and I didn't even, it totally slipped my mind about Dreamer Design. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I really, really do love Dreamer Designs. It just slipped my mind. Oh, my goodness. That was, that was shame on me. <laughs> so, I know next year, next Black Friday, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go for Dreamer Design. And I think I'll do that. Anytime I feel like I'm going to, you know, do any of those sales. Or if Dreamer Designs has any Christmas sales around the holidays, I'm going to make sure to focus on them first before I start looking at other companies. I'm going to do that. Sorry, Dreamer Designs. <laughs> so I'll make it up to them. I'll, I'll purchase during the holidays. And I'll, I believe I'll be a little bit better planned because this was just so random when I decided you know what I am gonna get Black Friday and it's just a cascade of sales like get all of this and it's like oh <laughs> so and that is why I purchased and I'm still waiting for it I did purchase from Oraloa which I think I might have said in my other weapon chat I'm still waiting for those paintings to come in which should come in the beginning of December I believe which I don't mind I have more Trust me, I have more than enough canvases to work on. And I still have a whole bunch of whips that I'm still working through. So it's not that I'm short or I'm going to be bored of, oh my goodness, I can't paint because I, I need to buy canvases. No, I have more than enough. So that's why I said I'm real patient on waiting and I don't have any problems with that. 
which is going to lead to my next thing. So since I'm doing this for the Jingle Drills event, which I really do like because it gives you so much time to actually move forward and finish your canvas, which works out because if you decide to work on a bigger canvas for the event, you have a little bit more than a month to kind of finish it or get as much done. Like I kind of, I think it's because they provide a lot of time. Now, when I did Drills and Chills, it was around two months, I believe. Which gave me a chance to... Yeah, that was actually one of my first kind of larger events. So I really do like it. And I do plan to do it next year. But which kind of had me see that not all events are the same. Not all events give you the same time. Not all the events give you, you know, the same choices of canvas that if, you know, there's a canvas you want to do. Double check the requirements on what the event would ask for. Which made kind of helped me make a decision starting next year i'm not gonna do that many events i yeah i'm not gonna do that many. <laughs> don't get me wrong they're fun and they're fun and i really like the idea that you know everyone's working painting together the same thing either the same idea a uh, theme for the painting or even the same painting i don't know it's the community part that i like but uh and this is for me as i said i'm not if you love doing events you go for it you do what you want to do but for me it was just since i picked up a couple more canvases and since i did start going through my stash and i started seeing all the canvases i actually have started making me realize you know what do i really want to do this painting like some event paintings i picked so that's why some events I didn't finish through because either I kind of wanted to be, you know, I wanted to work on a different canvas or maybe the canvas isn't coming out the way I thought it would. So that's why I put them aside, especially a lot of my whips that I wasn't too, too happy of how it came out. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to finish them, but maybe down the line. <laughs> so that's why I decided, you know what, next year I am going to do an event in January. Because I, I did promise to do it. And I am excited about it. Because I've never done a dragon painting. So I'm really excited to work on that one. Uh, but after that, I'm going to probably chill out and not really do events. And just let you all know what painting I'm going to work on. And that's because I've been watching other diamond painter channels. That they do it that way too. That they just go on and they'll, you know, talk in their video and explain, you know what? I'm going to do this painting this month or whatever. Real chill about it. And I decided, you know what? I kind of want to do that too. So that's probably a little change. I'm going to do the channel. Some of my videos, you'll see, you know, I'll decide, oh, this is the painting I'm going to work on. And we'll do a kid up video. Because honestly, I love doing kid up videos. I really do. Looks like I don't, but I really do. I like doing them. And apologies if you're not a fan of them, but... <laughs> I really like doing them. And I like, I think it's the organization part. I like, oh, give me one moment. Sorry about that. Playing passing by, and that's why I was like, ooh, gotta pause it. <laughs> or mute it, sorry. Thought I paused it, but no, I mute it. I almost stopped the video, but I got confused. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm deciding to doing. And also, it reminded me of what I did in the summer. Which, oh my goodness, I do apologize to all that I didn't... Well, no, I... Well, that I had... I asked you all to vote for a canvas for me to do in the summer. And yeah, I apologize for that. I re I am I'm currently working on the Con Candy Princess painting I've shown. A couple of my whip and chats ooh, a couple of weeks ago. That was one of the wonderful paintings you all voted for. So I'm still working on that one on the side. So I'm trying to see if I can complete it soon. I really want to finish it by the end of the year. But... I'm not too sure because I've been... Well, actually, maybe I should focus on that painting more at work. I've been taking, as I've said, taking this canvas to work. Maybe I should take that one to work and work this one at home. Ooh, brainstorming. 
<laughs> and also it's because it also leads me excuse me that i think i'll do that again oh sorry about that about next year put up another set of paintings for y'all to vote for but instead of asking for two i'm just gonna ask for one because i'm getting a little faster but i am not that fast lesson learned <laughs> so stay tuned for that that's an idea i have for next year since i'm gonna back off on doing events and these two wonderful events the chills and drills and jingle drills I really hope those are names. They just make me laugh. I am going to follow through next year because I really do love these events. So these two I do know I'm going to keep doing. And I'm going to do my the dragon one I signed up for in January. And I believe it's called Designer Dragons. Yes, I believe that's what it's called. And I already have the canvas and everything separated for that one. So I'm going to follow through on that one in January. But after that, I don't think I'm going to do any more events until the end of next year. Mostly because it allows me the opportunity to show y'all a lot of canvases that I have that I still haven't unboxed. So stay tuned for that. And besides to me, I feel like it's going to be, be a lot more fun, fun and more free because I get to choose. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to do this painting or I'll put it up for vote. And so whatever wonderful painting you all choose, I can move forward on it. Mostly gives me a reason to practice my squares a whole lot more because you've all noticed I've been working on a lot of rounds. And I've been working on a square on the side just so I can get some practice. And I'm actually really close to finishing it. I'm hoping I can finish it this year. It's a smaller canvas. Actually, I was hoping to finish it this week. But I don't think I'm going to have a chance. Because as, so, as slow as I am on rounds, I'm slower on squares. So, But stay tuned for that one. I do plan to finish it. Just so I can have, so I can have a completion, y'all. Because I really need to finish more paintings. <laughs> And I just want to finish this color real quick. Let's see. Like I said, it's such an odd angle. So if you see, oh my goodness, your diamonds are so crooked. It's because it's such an angle that I put everything. And I'll fix it up. And I think that's the last one for this nice pink color. And this painting, I do have fun. I do. I'm enjoying it. it I Every time I see, woo. I'm seeing the effect of it starting to go down and down and I'm really excited I'm actually going to finally start working on the fairy which I really love our hairs coming out I already did a section in the front it's so pretty so I'm excited how it's going to start looking for the rest of her hair Ooh, I'm really excited about that and I think we hit the 30 minute mark Ooh, we hit 32 minutes so I'm going to stop it here for now apologies this whipping shot was kind of all over the place so sorry about that it's just I have things I have thought in my you know in my mind that I wanted to bring up and you know let y'all know <clears throat> especially if y'all are you know viewers that keep coming back to my channel which I appreciate it oh one more thing <laughs> I promise last thing last thing so Monday I said it in this past week's actually I noticed I didn't finish that color this past week's video I showed what did I show oh it's how I call Timu Mondays <laughs> when I show my Timu orders. I still haven't received my Timu orders at all. So this coming Monday, for now, until I can get those paintings to come in, I'm going to start on a Timu painting. And I'm going to work on it on Monday. So that is where my, you know, kind of my 10 minute whipping shots are going to go. They're going to be on Mondays because I'm going to be working on a Timu painting. And the painting I decided to work on because I saw... Not just analytics, but comments and all of that. That painting I just recently showed. A square painting. The double adhesive painting of the kitty cat that's floating through the sky. I actually, when I was putting it away and I was going to put it you know, in my portfolio, I kept looking at it. And I decided, you know what? I am going to start on this painting on Monday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, because since, as I stated, it's a double adhesive. So I'm going to have it already with release paper on it so you don't have to see me struggle taking the paper off and we can start it and it's the painting that i decided it's in the small packets so i'm gonna open one packet and try to finish a color while i'm talking <laughs> so stay tuned for that that's gonna be monday's video until i can get my timu paintings in i did want to keep implementing my 10 minute chat but it works out perfectly because i get to work on my timu painting so yay 
Really excited about that. Stay tuned for that video. And yeah, that's all I got. So we're already past the 30 minute mark. So I'll stop here. I think I got a good section done. I just need to straighten this purple. I see it. It's so crooked and I spotted it. So I can probably finish this whole little section. It's such a small part since it's the top of the painting. It's only this section. So I'm going to try to complete it today and put a picture on it. I've been putting more on my Instagram, but I'll try to make sure to put it in the community tab. Because I know a lot of people actually read on there. So y'all can see, ooh, that's how it's coming out. Especially since I'm going to start hitting the fairy's hair. And I'm real, real excited how it's going to come out. Ooh, I'm real excited about this painting. <laughs> And again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you could do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. really helps the channel out there. And it really allows me the opportunity to show all of these wonderful diamond paintings we love to do. Purple color and everything. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.